G'day everybody, it's me again. I've been on the sliders, so I've been thinking. Anyway, I used a bit of uh, the old Google and uh, a bit of my own knowledge and came up with a bit of a uh, a whack power inverter, I'll call it. Um, that's a uh, 12 volt, uh, 240 volt, or actually, sorry, it's a 20 volt, 240 volt uh, transformer. Uh, gives you two 10 volt outputs, so center tapped. A little neon on there so I know if it's working. Now it gives me about, uh, oh, it's about 67 volts um, from 12, which is pretty bad considering what the transformer does. But the problem is, is I've got to figure out how to get the frequency right. Um, anyway, it's just a basic, it's almost like a ZVS or a Roya sort of feedback based, but not feedback based, it's switching based, it's square wave. So when one transistor's open, the other one has to shut. When the other one's shut, has to, the other one has to be open. Waffle. Um, anyway. It's a nice, pretty green neon. Now, there's very little to no heating in those MOSFETs. Now, the MOSFETs are 2SC2625. They are uh, both out of an old uh, Mac power supply. I uh, harvested them this afternoon because I've just been hunting everywhere for semiconductors to play with without costing me anything and this is a good way to do it. Raid old PCs. Um, they're 180 ohm uh, watt resistors. Um, I have flyback blocking on both sides which is uh, that diode and that uh, resistor and the, on the other side the same thing. Now what that does is, is when, the, when, the, when the back pulse tries to come back from the flyback through the primary cell what are the primaries here at the moment? They're the old secondaries, but now they're the primaries. Uh, when the flyback uh, current tries to come back through there, um, it gets stopped and gets just gets looped around back through itself and dissipates rather than going bang and smashing the MOSFET. MOSFETs don't like flyback uh, voltage kickback at all. Mm, more whistling. Hey, old dog, you get to be on YouTube. Now, the whole idea of this circuit actually is, is that uh, uh, Larry HDXFH has been playing with some capacitor banks, and uh, I wanted to uh, play with capacitor banks too, but I don't want to do it the old-fashioned way, so to speak, where you, well, the new-fashioned, old-fashioned? I don't know. I didn't want to do it where you just dump stupid amounts of uh, mains into a capacitor and then uh, off she goes. I thought I'd, uh, you know, make it complicated for myself. And uh, I'd build a circuit to charge the capacitors. Now they get charged through a resistor so they charge nice and slowly. And uh, I'm going to invert from low voltage to the 200 odd volts I need for my capacitor bank. So uh, we'll see how this goes, thanks to CIDR. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. My little inverter circuit here. If anybody wants a sort of schematic, I can give it to you. It does work. I wouldn't actually power anything you care about with it besides a light bulb. But it's not the point. It works. And it's so soldered in the air and just everywhere. But no shorts, and it works. And best part, they're MOSFETs for free. Thanks for watching.